Both the Jaegers and the Wolves have an eye on the human visitors who stopped for lunch. As we lay there watching the Wolves, they'd often come up and check us out. Of course, it was tempting to uh, give them a little bit of our lunch, and they welcomed any tidbit that they could find. This helped develop a rapport between them and us that was uh, very useful to our being able to observe them close up. It's a remarkable moment, an encounter between bird, wolf, and man. Still, the boldness of the wolves created some anxiety. Camping out right in the wolf's backyard created a situation where I had the feeling at any time the wolves could have gone in and really torn the camp apart. If they see something within their territory that's like a toy, a plaything, they, uh grab it, run around, tease each other with it. And of course, they seem to have a little more confidence. And I think at times they felt we were intruding and they could do pretty much what they wanted. At times, it pays to speak wolf. Every day, Jim Brandenburg is listening as well as watching, trying to anticipate the moment when a pack will set off to track down a musk ox herd. <laughs> 